the Pentagon dropped a curious bombshell. Its chief spokesman, Sean Parnell, claimed that Iran might be developing plasma weapons, a concept most people associate with science fiction rather than battlefield reality. No satellite images were shown. No declassified documents were shared. No concrete evidence was presented. Yet the implications were vast. The claim left experts puzzled. Plasma weapons? Really? Let's break down what this actually means and why it matters. First, what is a plasma weapon? Plasma is often called the fourth state of matter, alongside solid, liquid, and gas. It consists of ionized particles, atoms stripped of electrons, making it electrically charged and highly responsive to electromagnetic forces. Plasma is found in nature, in lightning bolts, in the sun's corona, and even in neon lights. It's hot, unstable, and difficult to control. So how could it be used as a weapon? In theory, a plasma weapon would project a beam or burst of superheated, electrically charged plasma. It could fry electronics, burn through armor, and disrupt aircraft systems. Imagine the blasters from science fiction films. But here's the catch. Actually making that happen is incredibly difficult. Plasma disperses quickly in open air. Maintaining its shape and direction requires powerful magnetic fields. Generating that plasma demands immense energy. These hurdles make plasma weapons nearly impossible for real-world combat today. Even military powerhouses like the United States have struggled to make it work. But to date, the U.S. hasn't fielded a single operational plasma weapon. So why would Iran be accused of developing one? That's where the geopolitics come in. Iran has a history of pursuing advanced and often secretive military technologies. Its nuclear ambitions have long drawn scrutiny from the West. Organizations like the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran and Malik Ashtar University have reportedly conducted plasma-related research for years. But researching plasma and weaponizing it are two different things. Iran remains under heavy sanctions. It faces severe restrictions on importing advanced components, high-grade electronics, and energy systems, essentials for building a plasma weapon. Many analysts question whether Iran even has the infrastructure to pull off such a leap. Which brings us back to the Pentagon's statement. Was this about technology or strategy? Timing is key. The Middle East is on edge. The Israel-Gaza conflict drags on. Houthi forces in Yemen continue missile attacks. Lebanon, Syria, and Iraq are simmering with unrest. Iran's influence is visible across these fronts. Just weeks ago, Washington imposed fresh sanctions on Iran's drone and missile programs. Iran's nuclear activities are once again in the spotlight. Plasma weapons, with their sci-fi aura, capture public imagination. They invoke fear, fascination, and urgency. Whether or not they exist becomes almost secondary. The narrative itself becomes a weapon. Iran, for its part, has remained silent. No denial. No confirmation. That silence adds to the mystery. Is it strategic ambiguity or indifference? If the Pentagon is right, if Iran is trying to build one, then it would mark a dramatic leap, one that would raise serious questions about how they're sourcing materials, talent, and tech under crushing sanctions. Again, no evidence suggests this, but the speculation is hard to ignore. For now, we're left with questions. Can the Pentagon's claim be substantiated, or will it remain in the realm of rumor and rhetoric? Stay tuned, because the future just might be plasma-charged.